hello good morning good evening good afternoon from wherever you are listening and watching this from i hope you've been well so this is part two of what we began and i wanna say that thank you so much for supporting me and supporting this channel and i'm hoping this concept uh, that i'm sharing and the knowledge in building your iot solutions is useful and uh, it's appreciated all right so i'm fighting some cold please um you're gonna just excuse me for now but i'm hoping that my voice is clear enough and audible all right let's dive in so in my screen as you can see this is power bi opened and receiving real time data um it is exactly 10 42 pm in my country it's it's at night but as you can see i'm receiving some real time temperature and humidity data so these are just some sensor data of choice uh, to demonstrate to you that it's possible to build an end-to-end -end solution using this Raspberry Pi thing and Microsoft Azure IoT suit. So from my previous video, which took like 51, 52 minutes, I, I, I explained to you how to exactly connect the circuit diagram uh, and how to exactly create resources on Microsoft Azure services, creating IoT Hub, creating a resource group, creating storage containers to the likes of Blob Storage, and of course, creating stream analytics. And I was also able to explain clearly the circuit diagram of um, of, of, of the one that we are using, using DHT, DHT uh, 22 and Raspberry Pi. All right, so today, uh, we just gonna be uh, exploring how to exactly visualize this data on Power BI and as you can see this is my real-time data it's being updated and uh, the first thing you need to do is log into your Microsoft Azure accounts remember if you do not have a, an active uh, subscription Microsoft is always giving free credits for starters and for beginners if you wanna study if you wanna build your projects if you're an hobbyist out there if you're a student for students actually it makes it more interesting because students you have more privileges okay all right so we just gonna continue with where we left um we just we are not going to start recreating sources because this video really covers how to create stream analytics how to create an iot hub and blob storage a storage container and how exactly to visualize even the data in in azure cloud shell all right so we had created uh, our iot hub and we had also created a device type so the next thing that i want to explain here is how to connect your power bi to um uh your power bi through stream analytics so that you can be able to um ingest your data from the physical device through iot hub which act as, as our gateway and into our power bi which is the one here that i have been showing you okay so the first thing that you do uh, as you can see my stream analytics is active it's it's running that is why i am able to receive uh some real-time data here which is temperature and humidity uh, allow me stop it for a moment so that i can explain to you so um remember the architecture the flow the pipeline of this data is we are getting the data from our device which is raspberry pi just a recap uh, for them that uh, might have not watched this video we did get our data from the physical device which is raspberry pi and then this data um, you write a script which i explained previously uh, you read this data and then you pipe or you send this data on microsoft azure iot hub in the microsoft azure iot hub it's where we have um devices uh if i can just recap it's where you had your device get your connection strings and get these connection strings and of course use these connection strings to to to, to get the data um just a moment give it some time so this is our device which is uh, real rasp real so 
this is where you are getting your connection strings which you you will be now using in your code I explained all these of the all these code uh, these are connection strings and um, now back I want to go back to stream analytics okay so in the stream analytics stream analytics its purpose here is to stream real time data from our IoT hub which is receiving our data from our physical device and then stream this data to our Power BI think of this as a connector okay all right now um in stream analytics uh, as you can see in the farthest left side we have in job simulation we have inputs we have functions we have query and output okay so what we want to do is we want to define our input actually i was able to define the inputs from the previous from from previous videos and I, I was able to show you how to exactly and an input but now today what i want just want to show you is how to add a power bi output all right so one thing you notice is for you to work uh, with Power BI, you need either an organization email or a school email. Uh, they are very keen on the on the domain part of your your email, and um, I presume that you you have uh, navigated to your Power BI account. For your information, um, you do not need premium premium accounts for you to to try this. Uh, even a free account is capable of trying this okay so it is loading so one thing uh, that we want is uh, something called a dashboard ID this one here so you copy this so the first thing you need is you copy this and when you come to to how to put uh, excuse me just a moment I need to refresh this to keep it active so when you come to output you need to define your output so we want to have this data on power bi so you you define it so what the name of our output output alias give it a valid name maybe call it a output output by output one all right so since i don't have since the account that i'm using here is not the same as the one that i've logged into power bi it cannot uh, you ca i cannot select power bi uh, automatically okay so what i have to do is i have to more of uh, provide settings manually by giving the group space id which is the one that i have already copied here all right um in fact let me let me use a different one from the one since I have two workspaces from the one that I, I had used previously. Um, do I have authority to do this? Uh, yeah, I see. So it's the one here. Okay, copy this, and then I paste it here. And I want to name my dataset name. Call it Pi Hundred, and then pip by 100 still and then i want to authorize so it is asking me for authorization and, and i will be authorizing it right so it's done so it's i've already authorized so after authorizing that the next thing you do is you want to save this okay after saving this um it is now testing the output and our output we have named it as uh, yeah we have already handed it successfully and uh, if you come to query now uh, you want to test our query the input and the output we we should be able to see our uh, currently and end uh, output here and which is pi out which is this one here in fact this is the one that I have handed if you have doubt maybe you can try end it and see yeah it's the one and uh, after doing that the next thing you want to do is you want to select your input so where is our data coming from our data is coming from iot hub 
which I already explained from previous video. So it's coming from um, from IoT Hub 002, which is the one here. That's the input. And our output, where we want to put our data to, it's pi o, pi, pi output, pu1. So I've selected this. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, then you save query. Mm. Uh, one thing to notice is please make sure that your uh, Raspberry Pi is actively running. Um, make sure that your code is active. And just a, a little while. A Python 3DHT. That is the one. Just make sure that it is active and running. Okay, perfect. So it's active and it's running. Uh, after making sure that it's running, you can test the input, a uh, test query to see if you have some data from your IoT hub. So it takes some time. So yeah, as you can see, um, we, we, we have some data uh, and you can test the input and also the output. All right. So this one, most of the time you can sample it depending on the time you want to select. So I'm super sure that this data uh, seems to be have been sampled uh, what time? Actually, it's recent time. Okay. So you can sample the time you want to, you know, like query your data. Okay. All right. Now, um, the next thing you want to do is now I want to restart my my stream analytics to start my stream analytics job this data from our physical device which is raspberry pi which is coming to iot hub which acts as our gateway can only be channeled uh, to power bi through uh, this stream analytics query query um, tool or service only after i have started my stream analytics job all right now I want to start it so after starting stream analytics if it is start successfully what we expect is um, we expect uh, a table to be created in our workspace that is in our Palm BI workspace which will be an active real-time um, real-time data set and um, let's check at the moment if I try to you know uh, to create a new stream data set you see it will tell me uh, Azure Stream uh, you, you have to first connect it as we did in the stream analytics and there is nothing appearing here so we wait until our stream analytics job starts so it takes some few seconds let just give it some time and as we give it some time, if you are a very fresh person in Power BI, if I can just give it a brief uh, introduction how Power BI looks like. This is uh, the home page of Power BI. This is just some dashboards which, which, which I have, um, you know, I have. Uh, these are some projects which I was creating three years ago. Um, years ago seven years ago five years ago five five months ago and did i say seven years ago seven months ago sorry <laughs> and uh, uh let's see if it was able to start success yes so it, it is able to start the connection so i was saying that this is the general uh, dashboard but if you come to workspaces you can create your own workspace so i have two workspace here and um as you can see, we named our, our data set as Pi100, so it's active. Um, and it's 10.52 in 10.55, so this is real-time data, uh, which is actually being sent uh, from our, our, our Raspberry Pi. Uh, actually, the, it's, it's actual time, 22.56, 22.56, okay. All right, now, uh, back to 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 power bi now we can start by creating dashboards it's very pretty straightforward the steps are just navigate to your workspace after navigating to your workspace um create new uh, you wanna stream data set which is real-time data and then uh 
sorry for this uh, could i have missed something no 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 the first thing we want to do is create a dashboard so that let's name our dashboard maybe call it rasp rasp let me call it rpi 100 uh, rpi 100 after creating rpi 100 i want to add now tiles here and then i want to hunt a real time data and click next we have pi 100 it's the one here so we can start by adding a card and a value of temperature and then click save and apply we can create another one another card and maybe for the humidity click next uh, select your your active data set um card uh, this time around it should be humidity you can keep everything else default or you can even rename it maybe call it humidity again doesn't uh, what what happens is it comes on the top here oh sorry for that um create type data and then next select on data set uh, and, and field this is humidity so as i was mentioning you can rename it to humidity you can even functionality set custom link this is especially if you want to visualize this data externally but for now there's no need and then click apply so we have humidity here so i want to show you again how to create a line diagram so click real time data <laughs> excuse me uh click next click your data set click next and then um i want to create a line chart uh, the value in the x axis it should be event a uh, queen utc time and the next thing for the legend let me have nothing for now values let me have temperature um temperature and humidity i don't know why it's not showing the two of them let me see line chart okay values temperature humidity may be fast okay all right let me see this i need to refresh this there's something let me let me just refresh this first already we have created um a, a, a dashboard it doesn't look that much you know uh, fancy but at least you you are able to visualize real time temperature and humidity in this manner so i want to add another tile and click your real time data go to next uh, your data set then click next um this time around i want to make it line chart um i want to choose my time for the x axis then values i want to add temperature and then yeah it's now appearing humidity so let it refresh after every let's let's get data for every 60 minutes in the in the screen and then click next um apply boom so that is all um uh, we we, we the, you can see here clearly that we have um real time data it's actually 11 pm here uh and um as you can see we we are receiving uh real time uh temperature and humidity data uh i hope you enjoyed this guys and um don't forget to subscribe and like this video share with your colleagues feel free to ask any questions in case um you find is that uh, there's an issue well running the code the code i already provided uh, it's pretty a simple code uh, it's the one here in the visual studio i already provided and explained in my previous video here and uh let's keep learning let's keep building all right stay tuned for the next video